Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty, Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty, Food Review. I am your host, The Report of the Week, and here we are trying out a new item, a new release from Taco Bell. Now this is, well, it's a fairly new release, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, it's not the most um, brand new thing in the world, it's not like this was released, you know, 15 seconds ago. And I was pushing my way through the, the crowds of, of hungry customers eager to try this and uh, anything like that. No, it's admittedly, uh, this came out, I would say, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but I was surprised because sometimes even if I'm not like right on an item and I wasn't able to try this initially just because of the dental work and all that stuff that I had done. Uh, sometimes I'll just let it go, you know, I'll figure, well, I missed the shot. It's, uh, you know, we'll just we'll go on to the next. Um, but this item... Consistently, I've been getting requests for it. One comment. Then another comment. And then another comment. And then, yes, you guessed it, two more comments after that. Try out. Try it out, review bra. And, uh, well, now I am. Uh, today's review is for the Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries from Taco Bell. Nacho fries, right? because they're my fries. Um, but these are the buffalo chicken nacho fries. Taco Bell, you know, they like the nacho fries. Uh, they bring them back. They're a fan favorite. They're one of my favorites. I've always been a big fan of the nacho fries. And, uh, of course, they did bring them back again. They're back. Um, but they're doing, they're doing something with them. Right? Instead of just saying, all right, they're nacho fries because they're my fries and something about the nacho cheese, uh, they're different. Right now, you can still get the original ones if you want, but these are the buffalo chicken nacho fries. Consider these to be like cheese fries, okay? Here's what they come with. Shredded chicken, buffalo sauce, sour cream, nacho cheese, I won't I'll skip that joke, cheese, and pico de gallo. Three dollars is the price for these. Comes in the feeding trough, and, uh, you know, you just eat it out with, um, you know, uh, an instrument of your choice. Uh, some people, what they like to do is they like to use a um, spoon. You know, they like to scoop it out with the spoon. Some people go with the fork. There is a new um, trend emerging. Well, what they'll do is they'll take the pen out of the pocket. You know, you gotta have it like that. And then you just kind of, you know, skewer it and you eat it, you know, with the, the tip of your pen. But I advise against that just because of the ink and whatnot, but you know. That's my, uh, that's, that's my warning, anyway. All right, three dollars, so buffalo chicken nacho fries. So here we go. Got our napkins. These have gotten mixed feedback. Some people love them, some people hate them, and we'll just see. I've never tried these before, I've never had them, so, uh, it'll be interesting to, uh, to see. I also have a couple tacos in here, the rest of my, rest of my snack. Let's try these out. Yeah, buffalo chicken. So we got everything that's on them, though. You know what's on them. Uh, shredded chicken, buffalo sauce, uh, sour cream, nacho cheese, cheese, and uh, pico de gallo. So I think it'll be interesting anyway. Here's what they look like. This is uh, what they call the almighty spork. Right there, one of these things. Everyone's favorite. And here they are, all right? So you can see, all right, there's the sour cream, there's the fries just, you know, mixed in. Uh, that's like the buffalo sauce on the top mixed in with the cheese. Where's the chicken? Do we see? There, there is a piece of chicken, so the chicken is, is mixed in there, right? So everything's just mixed in. You can see the pico de gallo as well. Right there. Uh, we'll get it for you in the good lighting. Like that, or, or something, something like that, anyway. <laughs> Good enough. And, uh, yeah, we'll try it out. I'm not the biggest cheese fries consumer, but that's not to say that I have any sort of, um, you know, irrational hatred for them, right? Even though if I'm not the biggest fan, if they taste good, they taste good. And uh, we'll see. One other thing that I do want to mention real quick, and then we'll just get right into it and we'll try it out. A lot of people have been saying that these are hot, uh, that these are spicy. People like spicy food. Uh, obviously, that's always it's always been a trend. You know, people like hot peppers, they like hot sauce, they like hot wings. 
hot chicken, uh, spicy uh, tacos, I mean, you name it, right? That's always been a huge trend. Uh, this is no exception. And some people have been saying this is actually the hottest item from Taco Bell. And uh, we'll see, you know, it all depends, I guess, on who you ask, but some people have been saying it's really spicy. Uh, so we're gonna find out. So with that, we'll just try a little bit of everything and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So it's the Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries from Taco Bell. Spork in hand, it's going in. I don't like how dull this thing is. I just wish I could, maybe I'll just use a fork, I don't know. You can pretend like I'm feeding you. All right, here comes the airplane. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have an issue with it at all. No, no, not, not, no complaints, no issues. You know, when it comes down to these types of items, especially the, uh, like these types of cheese fries, right? I know they can be a little messy and sometimes it's kind of tough to eat them uh, orderly on camera. So when it comes down to it, you just gotta dig in, you know, you just gotta go in there. Uh, it, it's it's always a good sign if your biggest complaint about the item isn't even the item itself, right? If my complaint, if the biggest thing I have to go off against is the eating instrument and how I really don't like that the points at the end are just so small and that it's tough to get a good grip on the fries, if that's all that I can complain about, I say it's a pretty good item then. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it at all. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, sure, it's messy. That's what you expect when it comes down to these types of things, though, you know? It's it's all what you know what you're in for, right? All right, yeah, it's gonna be messy, fine. That's what I want, I, it's, that's what I want, you know? You, you know what you're in for, you know what to expect, right? Nothing wrong with that. All the ingredients you can make out. All the ingredients are there. You have the shredded chicken, which, when they say shredded, I always think like they're taking the chicken cutlets and they're putting it through a paper shredder, you know? But it's not like that. It's like the chicken is, again, I wouldn't say shredded. It's like, you know, small pieces of chicken. I, I don't know what you would, small pieces. It's not like shredded shredded though, like a, a paper mache, or I guess you'd call it chicken mache. It's not like that, right? Uh, so instead, the chicken is, is definitely slightly larger pieces uh, for what it is. Maybe I wish there'd be a little bit more chicken in there, but it's okay. It's not like it's chewy. It's not like it's tough. It's not like it's a jerky. You could definitely taste it there. Uh, the buffalo sauce, it has a lingering spiciness. And what I actually like is that it's like a tangy, zesty spice. Uh, I don't know who, who it was that was saying that these are the hottest fries I've ever had. I would, I would not say that these are the hottest fries ever. Uh, unless it's like one of those things that like it's so incredibly hot, like it's just, 
it's already destroying my, my nervous system. And, you know, I've lost all sensations uh, of taste, maybe. And it's just like doing a number and I just don't even, I don't even realize what's going on right now. I mean, maybe that's possible. Um, but I would, I would deem that extremely unlikely. So uh, definitely it's not the world's hottest. It's like it's a bearable spiciness. It's pleasant. It's not like, again, I'm here, uh, you know, guzzling down the Baja Blast there like it's life or death or anything. Um, but yeah, it's a pleasant spiciness. It's definitely noticeable. Um, but I, I really do like that zesty tanginess. I think it's the buffalo sauce. It really blends everything together. The sour cream is there. kind of gives this little just cool creaminess to it as well. Again, it's a complementing flavor. Um, the nacho cheese, the regular cheese that's there as well, just adds this cheesiness, of course, as it should. And uh, the pico de gallo, maybe there's one thing I wish, I mean, I see it, but that's the one thing that maybe gets a little bit lost in there. I wish I could just taste the pico de gallo. Maybe that just gets kind of mixed in with the zestiness of the sauce as well. Um, but overall, I mean, there's a lot of ingredients. I would say everything just blends together good. If you like cheese fries and you want a little bit of spice added, yeah, I'd say these are for you. And uh, go for it, because again, I think they're good for what they are. I like the way the, the buffalo sauce is. Chicken's fine, the cheesiness is fine. It's messy, but that's what you expect. There's no, there's no big deal about that. And uh, the one thing is maybe, I, I don't know if you can really control, but if, if you can, if you get these, see if you can get something other than this uh, spork to eat it with, because this thing is dreadful. This is the worst part of the entire thing, this silly, silly little thing. Just get a regular fork or something, just eat it with that, because that's, that's the worst part of it all. I just want to get a nice bigger bite of it, a bigger mouthful, and just go for it. But everything blends together good, everything tastes good, and uh, for $3, I, I think it's fine. Uh, it's definitely taking those, those nacho fries, it's taking it to the next level. And uh, yeah, I think it's good. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, therefore, out of 10, I'm going to give it uh, an 8.26 out of 10. That's an 8.26 out of 10. Definitely above average. Not the world's best, but it's definitely good. I don't have a problem with it. It's inexpensive, and uh, yeah, give it a shot. I think it's some really good variety from the Taco Bell menu. And uh, I know I got to this a little late, but I just hope they keep it on the menu for a long time to come because I think it's a great item, and uh, it tastes good. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today's review was for the Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries. So it's definitely not an inferno. Though, watch, I'm like, I'm going to collapse as soon as I turn the camera off, and I'm going to be, you know, writhing around on the floor or something. But as far as I'm concerned, they're not the world's hottest fries. But they're good. That's what matters. That's all that I have. Stay safe out there, and do take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.